Andrew Greenlaw. He is the Senior Director of Sports Sponsorship for CIBC. They are a big sponsor of Toronto 2015 Pan and Pan American and Games as well as the Paralympics. What does your role entail? Um, I oversee all of our sport partnerships. So uh, things like the Toronto 2015 Pan Am, Para Pan Am Games, the Canadian Paralympic team, and really look for opportunities that CIBC can use to demonstrate how we're enriching communities and inspiring generations. And you know, standing here looking at the Women's Wheelchair Basketball Championship is a great example of the types of things that we invest in because these athletes are incredible. Um, inspire millions of Canadians uh, to be more active and to aspire to greatness and it's just been a great day so far. And now you said that you have played wheelchair basketball yourself. Tell me about that. What's that experience been like and where do you play? I think the best word to describe it is humbling. I mean I'm an able-bodied competitor and it was uh, really interesting getting into a chair and you know getting uh, the, the ability to use your legs to play basketball taken away from you and it's an incredibly tough sport. Uh, it's an incredibly great workout, uh, secondarily, and again, the athletes that you meet are so humbling and so incredibly inspiring. Uh, I try and get out there every uh, couple weeks or so. What does it mean for you to see a world championship like this happening here leading up to 2015? I think this is a great taste of what we're going to experience here in just over a year's time. Uh, some of some of the world's best athletes are going to come here from across the Americas. Um, I understand that all of them are qualifiers for Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. And so the athletes you're seeing here now today are the athletes we're going to see next year. And there's going to even be even more on the line. And I'm a proud Torontonian. I'm a proud Canadian. Every time I see an athlete with a maple leaf on their chest, I feel uh, all red inside. And so, you know, this just warms, warms me and hopefully everyone else up for what's to come. Uh, so, Canada, Great Britain, right now, uh, what are your thoughts on this game? My thoughts are, uh, we're down by one right now, and I think uh, Canada's saving their best for the second half. Uh, these women, a lot of them have a ton of experience. I see Tracy uh, out there, who I know, I, th I think has probably been to five Paralympic Games at least, Tracy Ferguson. So, you know, they're going to come out really strong in this second half. They're going to want to win. It's front of, in front of a home crowd, and I think we're going to see them come away with a victory. What would it mean for you and for all Canadians to see them get gold here? You know, again, I would love a, a reason to fly the Canadian flag high, hear a national anthem. Uh, it means everything. Um, they've represented us so well. Um, it's only fitting that they win here. Perfect. Anything else to add? No, just great. Thank you for covering this. It's great to get exposure for our Paralympic sport, our Paralympic athletes, um, to build the awareness. And so thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do this. I will send things back down to Tim and Rob.